Hello and welcome to the episode number 100 of Might and Magic Book 1 Secret of the Inner Sanctum. And we're still very close to the end. And in fact, what we are going to fight today would essentially be uh, the final boss of the game. Well, basically because there are no any more final bosses. Well, maybe except the Volcano God, but yeah. <laughs> and uh, yeah, it's the same old uh, Black Knight. And I have thought about it and how I could essentially defeat him. And I have a bit of a plan, though I'm not sure how effective it is and it probably comes down to luck actually. Um, essentially is that last time I used a lot of um, power cures and uh, as you saw we ran out of spell points and that's never a good thing. Also only one person could be healed at a time and uh, it didn't really matter much because the Black Knight essentially just deal so much damage that you cannot possibly live after that. So, um, uh, my plan here is to use Moonray instead. That should save us quite a bit of spell points and uh, since it doesn't really matter much whether the character has 60 HP or like uh, as long as they are alive, so this should work better, but still I'm counting on Gandalf to be able to defeat the Black Knight, with his finger of death, of course, because otherwise, keeping in mind that the Black Knight has the ability to lower your uh, level. Yeah, that might be a little bit difficult otherwise. So I really hope luck helps me here. And okay, I need to. Oh, no, 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 no. First off, we rest. Good. Now, I need Frodo to cast. No, 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 no. You don't cast anything. You conserve spell points. Gandalf, you need to cast for five. I'm not sure if Guard Dog helps here or not. Uh, they might surprise you either way. But I'm not certain. Uh, Boromir, don't cast anything. Legolas, cast one five. And cast one six. Then. Aragorn, use A. Boromir, use A. Legolas, use A. Trade with Shagrath. Item A. Then use E. Trade with Legolas. Item E and trade with Lilas. Item A. Yes, that is good enough, and we have 28 spell points uh, for Boromir, 77 for Frodo. Well, that should keep us. Pretty good for quite a while, I hope. Alright, so let's try this one more time, hopefully with more luck, Gandalf. <laughs> yes. Hmm. Well, it didn't surprise us this time. Oh wow, Bormir didn't die, that's astonishing. <laughs> Okay, so... 
Let's just try to take care of with our Crider first. Huh. Well, I'm not sure what to do with Crider here. Oh, why not? Let's bless up. Just because we can. Attack. Oh, 42. That's pretty nice. Attack. Misses. Attack. Misses. Cast. Five, four, or three, or something, something, something. Three, yes. Five, three on A. Die. Aha! Dark Rider is phased out. Take that! Shoot G. Cast. Um, this is a clerical spell. Five. No, that's not. Or is it? Or is it? It's six one. Of course. Not five one. Five one is deadly swarm. Need six one. Seven points. Uh, good enough, I guess. Oh he's not affected. That could mean that he is immune. Which would make things difficult. And Boromir was healed for 14. Hmm. Okay, good to know. Attack. Um, yeah, attack. Attack. I'm not sure what to do here. If he is, in fact, immune, that would essentially mean that my. Uh, efforts to point fingers at the Dark Rider are pretty much useless. 5-3 <sighs> and G. Die! Again, not affected. Uh, something tells me that's a bad idea. But I don't have any other strategies at this point. Shoot F, then six one again. Yeah, again, not affected. That could be troublesome. The thing is that since the Dark Rider lowers your uh, level, that means that the Dark Rider is very, very uh, dangerous to us, and even if we can get rid of all the warriors, yeah, it won't help. So, fight F, misses. Of course, I can make Gandalf a little bit more useful. By uh, by making him buff our party up instead of trying to finger point at the Dark Rider. Either way, this looks very difficult. And I will try adhering to my theory. For this fight, die. Uh, 
And perhaps something will come out of it, but I don't doubt that. 3-3, that's pretty nice. Uh, Dark Rider. How can I deal with something that is immune to magic? Oh! Hello there! Huh. Well, maybe he is not immune after all. And I've defeated a warrior! Uh huh. That's pretty nice. Okay, cast 5 3 on K. It's not affected. But at least there is a little bit of hope. A cast six one still not affected. Attack, attack. Cast five three on A. Must they have so many hit points and jump over the place and regenerate them? <sighs> Fight F. I don't think I'm going to survive this. No, oh, hey, I killed the warrior. It would seem that the warriors are pretty much going down at this point. Shoot, Jay. But we are as well. Hmm. Cast 5 3 on I. Die! Yeah, that's something we would have expected. Six one. That should get rid of at least a few more warriors. Let's just focus on the dark. Aha! It goes down, finally. However, it might be too late. Ah, we got a handicap. Good. We have still 3 4 spell points, so we're good. A 
cast 6 1 again. Oh, 22. Very good. Double kill. Multi kill. I think we're going to win this. Even Gandalf kills one. And 10,000 experience points. I approve, game. Close sack. Close sack. Holy cow! A thousand gold. Shagrath can now level up. And Gandalf. You have lots of spell points. Uh, so, cast. Fly to. In fact, I have no idea. Huh. Uh, let me look this up. Where should I go next? Um, uh, apparently, I want to go to the Wheel of Luck, which is an A3. And a three is accessible from B three, of course. So we're going to B three. Take it. And let's save. Yes, excellent. We have defeated every single boss of the game right now. That is, the four great beasts. And nothing else is stopping us from reaching the end of the game. Although that won't actually be the end of the game, because I still have some things to show you. And, okay. So, let's go and uh, train Shagrath. Amazonia's training. Yes. Okay, so we need... 89,000. This is 10,000, 10,000, 10,000. Hmm. Oh, wait, that's 109, and this is 90. This is 89. That could be difficult. Hmm. How does this make sense? Trying for a level 11 for Gandalf? Actually... Actually, wait a minute. No, no. We're back to our normal levels, so I have no idea what's happening here. I mean, why is training for level 12 going to come sooner than training for level 11 for them? That makes, like, no sense whatsoever. Whatsoever. Hmm. Well, anyway, let's gather our gold and commence Shagrath's training. Eight hit points! Very good! That essentially means that Shagrath is now officially below Aragorn. Ha ha! Now logic comes into play. Woohoo! Oh yeah, and uh, Shagrath, you also need less than anyone else, and I need Gandalf to get to level 11. That might be difficult. Yeah. And I have no idea why I won here. Except to get a life drained. Okay, so let's sign in. Let's rest. And just as it is fitting, we will claim the prize of this quest that we have just finished. 
after we buff up. Buff up, of course. Okay, so we have buffed up. And we can now go and claim the prize. Aha! And said the prize is... Is can't swim. No. <laughs> Here and we need to go right there. And as usual, let's just use the coral key. Use E. Enter. And let's go sea walking. And somehow I don't have a map of this place. Oh, okay. So all we need to do is just go forward and hello there, sea hag! That's a monster we haven't seen yet. Hmm. Fascinating. Shoot. Cast bless. Attack. Oh. Okay. That was some fight there. Let's just continue going. Aha! Huh, land! Let's go over this place. And this is passable, although everything else is not. Too dense. And finally, we are here. And here we can find. Embedded in the side of the mountain is a large wheel covered in strange and archaic symbols. Spin the wheel? Yes, please do. Everyone is a loser, except for Frodo, who has... who gets 32,000 experience points. Hmm. What happens if I spin this again? Yeah, everyone's a loser. Hmm. So that's odd. Well, Frodo got experience, which is good. But that won't help us much. Because Frodo is already level 11, and he won't get another level until. Uh, spell level. until 13, and we cannot reach that at all. Well going to be difficult, because that means we need to level up Gandalf, and that means we need to go grinding at the peaks of Vyverns. And that could be difficult. Anyway, we are going to go for the end game now, so Gandalf, cast Fly, and Fly to C2. Because as we all know, the end game is the same as the start of the game. Aha! Uh -huh. And I have no idea if I have time for anything else. I have been recording for 1500 seconds, whatever that means. I feel quite good right now, so let's try and do this then. Oh, and uh, also let's see how much experience Frodo now needs. 58. That's a very low amount of experience that he needs here. And Gandalf needs like twice that. Yeah.
Okay, so let's do this. Use the Eye of Goros. And it casts the Astral spell. And as you can see, this is a blank screen. Uh, but it doesn't see darkness or anything like that, so... Um, oh, yeah, that's right. Let me read you the description of this place. As soon as I can find it. There we go. Greetings and salutations are in order. Bring your keycard. Enter all five astral projectors to feel much glory. If you have completed your mission, you all... You will know all jubilation, whatever that means. For it is now this book has been read. Here you uncover the secret of the inner sanctum. Sarpigal awaits your return. The gates to another world soon pass your entry. Yes. So this is the definitely the final dungeon. And it has some tricks here and uh, very difficult to defeat encounters. And there we go. There is my map. And let's do everything in order, so... Oh yeah, and one more thing. If you... Um... Oh. Where do I start at? There is something here. There's a barrier here. Hmm. Okay, so I can go here and... This is odd. Oh! Oh, I see. It wraps around, of course. This is the astral plane. So it's a continuous one, and it just wraps around, so I can see things that are not there, but on the other side. So, first of all, we need to go here, left, forward, right, forward, 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 until we hit a barrier, left, forward, Right, forward, 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 until we hit the barrier. One step here, barrier, one step there, one step here. Barrier, barrier, barrier. Uh -huh. We are here. I'm lost. Being lost here is not a good idea. But then how does this happen? So there are two barriers in front of a door. There is a door. There aren't many doors here. Ah, I see now. I need to go here. Here, here. And, of course, we hit Warlocks, Pyrohydra, and Hill Trolls. That's exactly why it's the definitely final dungeon. There are enemies here that are very strong. Shoot A. Cast Bless. Attack. 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 Cast Lightning Bolt on A. And yes, Acid Arrows. Never a good thing. Uh, 
shoot A, then hmm. well, I guess Legolas needs some healing. Cast to one on three. Attack. 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 Cast lightning bolt on A. Okay, hill trolls are resistant. Good to know. Shoot A. Heal Aragorn. Attack. There we go. Fight B. Fight B. Um, cast 3 3. Invisibility. Shoot B. Then heal Aragorn again. Attack. 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 And cast 3 7. Of course, they're going to heal themselves instantly. But that doesn't matter because I'm pretty sure that the decrease in AC stands. And someone is even more dying than Aragorn, and that is Legolas. I have no idea what Gandalf is supposed to be doing, so I'm just going to block. Kill Aragorn. Attack. 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 And block. Kill Troll misses. Shoot. Um, heal Legolas again. Attack. There we go. Lots of experience. A wooden box, really. Also, a thing of note is that we are yet to encounter the best uh, box in the game, which is the black box. Yeah. <laughs> Clearly a play on words there. And nothing interesting in that box there. And I need to rest here. Oh, we can't rest here. Okay. So let's just continue. Which actually, can we? Um, can we cast mm, five four? Pretty sure we cannot. Yeah, if it's too dangerous. It's too dangerous. Okay, there's a barrier here. And there's a barrier there. What? I assume locate won't work either. Um, cast one seven. Yeah, it won't 
work either. So there's a barrier there. Barrier here. There's a. There's no barrier here. Aha! Unlock Shagrath. And in here we have Astral Projector number one. Zap! And here we are back at Sarvigal. So, we're going to be searching for all the astral projectors in that very confusing astral plane. And, yeah. That's pretty much it. See you all next time.